This morning, dozens of people came out to the annual Crop Hunger Walk, but this year they remained in their cars while supporting their cause. KCA Unite's Jessica Watson attended today's event and shares more. I feel good about it because I do know we have hungry everywhere, even in our neighborhoods. And um, now that I'm retired, I'm hoping to put even more time into it. Joan Hall has been participating in the Crop Hunger Walk for years. She says while this year's walk looks different, it's just as important. I love doing this walk. I've done it for years and years and years. First of all, in memory of my daughter who loved to do this. And that gave me an incentive to keep it going, to keep getting more people involved and do our best to drive down hunger. Obviously, now more than ever, um, people are needing help with food items and food donations. And I know the Community Action Agency is especially in need of, of canned food items for their food assistance programs. So we hope that this is a way that they can help those people who come to them needing needing food. This year, because of COVID-19, the walk became a drive. More than a dozen cars caravan from Grace United Church to the Community Action Agency. This is kind of a fun way where we'll we'll kind of see each other from a safe COVID-friendly distance, yet still be able to, to spread our message and do what we need to do. Once the cars got to the Community Action Agency, drivers unloaded food donations from their vehicles to help fight hunger in Siouxland. Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.